Hello there all, this is Crimson and I've got some more Bloodshed Tactics. Now I'm going to be using the AK-47 today, Silence of course, with Assassin. Uh, before I talk about the gun, I just wanted to introduce the series really, it's called Bloodshed Tactics. I know, very cheesy, um, but hopefully it will maybe grab some people's attention. And if people enjoy the videos then I can keep them going, they're mostly just going to be focusing on uh, weapons to use, class setups, kill streaks, uh, anything that I think could be worth using, what people might find beneficial. Um, anything like that I'll cover. Um, maybe you guys could drop some comments in, let me know what kind of things you would like to see. Uh, but until then I'm just going to start picking uh, guns that I like or maybe guns that even I don't use that often and giving them a try and seeing where they would perform best. Um, so anyway, the AK-47, uh, kind of conflicted about that gun in Modern Warfare 3. I, I really liked it in Modern Warfare 2. Um, it's just that on this game it, it felt really big and chunky at first and I, I wasn't really sure if I liked it. Uh, and I originally used it with impact and extended mags. Uh, that was really good on certain maps, uh, like Dome for instance. As there's lots of uh, penetrating surfaces, you could literally go up to the... Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it, it's the area where they all kind of hang around in the, uh, with all the barrels in. And you could like, shoot through the sheet metal and make the barrels blow up and it performed pretty well there uh, but I've started to use it with the silencer uh, and kick on it as it's got quite a bit of recoil and it's actually quite good I mean uh, you probably don't want to rush with it as I'm doing here I'm kind of just going for it but <laughs> you should uh, probably take your time with it and um, try and build up your kill streaks. I mean the objective with this package anyway I'm using the assault kill streaks, is to get the juggernaut out and once you get the juggernaut out then obviously you can just start beasting it like I get it out in this game but it <laughs> doesn't really last that long um, which is usually the case for me uh, but I, I'm trying to get a video where I just keep it out for a good length of time and get some good footage with it but you'll have to stay tuned for that um, so I started to use the MP9s and Akimbo more uh, as my secondary um, as I'm playing on PC, I know that they sent the patch out um, the other day uh, to address a lot of the lag compensation issues and rebalance the weapons, but um, it's still kind of debated as to whether that was implemented on the PC, and people aren't too sure, but the FMG9s are still running rampant, and they're still as effective as ever, so um, I would probably say they haven't put it on the PC yet because it doesn't look that way but um, I'll keep looking on the forums and see if it has gone gone out or not I'm not too sure um, and the, the PP90 I'm seeing that pretty much everywhere now it seems that the same guns are, are just being used over and over which is kind of disappointing so anyway uh, and also it took me a little bit longer to get in a video out uh, than anticipated. Uh, I got home last night, uh, I wanted to play some Call of Duty and Steam was down for most of the night. Then when Steam came back up, my internet went down. So I pretty much couldn't do anything all night and it's up. <laughs> but I uh, played a bit this morning. I've uh, been testing out my new mouse, the Corsair Vengeance M60 game mouse. Uh, it's seems quite nice but I'm still getting used to it uh, anyway the gameplay is coming to an end now but if you guys like what you've seen uh, put some comments in and just let me know so I can keep putting the content out there uh, thanks guys and I'll see you next time